it. Don't be shy. Jolene can't wait to meet you for a trailer park Christmas. The trailer park way with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer. She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the trailer park the trailer way. Park Merry trailer park Merry Christmas. Trailer park Christmas. Merry trailer park Christmas. Hooray! Well, hi there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen. And welcome to the trailer park test kitchen. And welcome to trailer park Christmas 2018 where I'm showing you how the trailer park celebrates a holiday. Well, Melikaliki Manka, or Aloha, or I've never been to an island before, or I don't know, I like frosty frozen pies around the holiday. I, don't, I know it's snowing outside, but it's something that I like. And I think of the tropics because it's cold outside, and I figured, why not freeze the tropics and bring it on home to the trailer? So today we're gonna be making a great Hawaiian style frozen pie. It's my frozen Hawaiian style pie. It's up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2018. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my Hawaiian frozen pie is really simple and I have a bowl here and we're just going to be mixing it by hand. Now today we're going to be using some whipped topping and I know that this is hard for some of y'all over across the pond to get in your caravan park. But this is something that I love to use. It's just great. I know it's probably bad for you, but we are using, um, this is actually, um, we need about 12 ounces. So this is eight ounces. So we're gonna have to use some more. It was on sale um, in the smaller tub. So I was able to use that um, actually as a money saving thing. So I'm just gonna use about, let's see, uh, four ounces of that right on into the bowl just like that now we are actually using some canned pineapple we are not on the island so we have to use the canned kind and this is drained and this is crushed and this is about 20 ounces that goes right on in there and we are using the sweetened condensed milk today and this is actually 14 ounces and this goes right on into the bowl, just like that. And this is actually gonna take a while, so I will just help it out just like that. And this is the sweetened kind. This is not the evaporated kind that I'm actually using today. And oh wow, this looks very rich already. And this is about a half cup of cherries, and I thought it would be real cool to actually dye some green, but it actually turned out kind of um, actually scary. Um, I couldn't find the actual green ones at the store, but you can certainly change that out to make it look real pretty um, for the holiday. And I'm using a half cup of walnut chips. We are going to put those right on in the bowl just like that. And I'm going to just whip this all together and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, to wake up the flavors, I add two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice right on in there. Now you can add some other fruit to this or any other ingredients, maybe some coconut or I'll be real interested in what you all add to it. Leave a comment down at the bottom. But what I have here is a prepared graham cracker crust and you can find this in the baking section and you'll need two. So you actually get two pies out of this. Actually you could probably get a lot more but I'm gonna mound this up on top in two of these pie shells and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, once you filled up your two pie crusts, what you're gonna do is just wrap them with some plastic wrap and don't press down on them too much. But we're gonna pop them in the freezer and they're gonna freeze for a few hours and then they'll be ready to slice up and serve. So I'll check back with you in a few moments. And there you have it, my frosty frozen Hawaiian pie. And look at that, I can see the cherries in there. Well, not the ugly green ones that I made, but the pretty red ones. And also the pineapple, and it's just nice and creamy, and I'm just gonna steal a little taste of it here. Mmm. 
That tastes just like the islands. I hope you get a chance to make this. Now I don't know if today's pie was very tropical or even Hawaiian, but it sure is tasty and it's great out on a buffet table or after a dinner that you may serve family or friends. And it certainly reminds me of the tropics even though I have not been there. It is on my bucket list, but I'll get there someday. But aloha from the trailer park, everyone. And I certainly hope you enjoy the pie recipe. I hope you make it. If you do, send me pictures at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to download the free calendar at trailerparkchristmas.com that you can follow along and see all the recipes because I see tomorrow that there is a, uh, actually a chat in the Trailer Park Rumpus Room. That's where I talk about the holidays. Be sure to leave questions down at the bottom. I may answer them on there. There's only a few more days. There's some more things to watch um, that you may have missed, so be sure to watch that. Hit that subscribe button, like button, whatever you need to do. I love spending the holidays with you. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that.